Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm reviewing Lego set number 40453, Batman vs. the Penguin and Harley Quinn. This set has 63 pieces, it's for ages 6 and up. We've got three minifigures with one exclusive, and it retails for $15 in the US. So this Batman minifigure is exclusive, which was surprising to me, but apparently the torso is new, as are the legs. I really like this figure. I think it looks fantastic. I really love the black and gray. Just it, it feels very classic. And I don't love light gray on Batman minifigures, but I think it looks okay here. The other ones I think have had too much light gray. Lifting this up, you can see that the legs are dual molded and he does have some nice back printing. Like to me, this figure just feels like a blend of like kind of like the 2012 version with the more modern version, you know, like having this shorter cowl. There's his face, again, very happy that they've gone to goggles now instead of that sweatband, and then there's the alternate face. Here's the Penguin. This is the exact same variant that you can find in the 4 Plus Bat Boat set that released in summer 2020. It's a pretty decent figure, and I do like the face print. The top hat is the older one, though, not the one from the Lego Batman movie, and I hate the umbrella build. I mean, kudos to them for trying something new, but this just does not work at all, and I really would have preferred just like a normal kind of umbrella just a normal bar for the umbrella and not this weird build. Here's Harley Quinn. This is the same version from the Joker's Trike Chase set that came out in 2020. Um, I haven't even uploaded my 2020 reviews yet. I don't know when this one is going to go out, but you'll see this figure again there. I like her little like dynamite plunger, and I actually really like her um, hammer as well. It's a pretty decent build. I feel like it looks a tiny bit unfinished there with like the open studs, but I mean, it's it's pretty decent for being minifigure scale, although she cannot stand up, so I have put it down. She's got some great back printing with that Harley sign, and she does have a very nice alternate face as well, where she's sticking her tongue out. And there's a quick look at the figure without all of her accessories. She has some pretty decent printing, and the white isn't too pale on like the black. This is a true accessory set and not just a minifigure pack like so many of these things are because we've got a little penguin boat here. Well, a boat for the penguin, but it's of a duck, obviously. I think that this is really adorable. I love the penguin's little, like, ducky boats. We've got a printed console piece and two, like, bundles of dynamite off to the side. And the way the face is built is actually pretty interesting, and you can kind of angle that, like, up and down. So I appreciate that. The penguin can just stand right there, and even like the shaping of the side of the boat, like made using these mudguard pieces, I don't know if I've seen those in yellow, so that's pretty interesting to me. Other than that, we've just got a bunch of accessories. We've got three more bundles of dynamite, so this set is great if you want to stock up on dynamite, and it's great if you want to stock up on batarangs, because these two are in addition to the one that Batman was holding. We've also got these two little crates here. If you open them up, you've got money in this one, and then I think the other one just has some jewels. Oh no, sorry, it's got more money. It's always confusing about what's in these Lego crates. But yeah, I mean, this is a great, this is a great selection of accessories for like a $15 set to get a villain vehicle and then like plenty of weapons and money. That's like a pretty decent haul. And it doesn't even stop there because we have another bad ring as an extra piece. The box is just that typical blister pack style in the shape of a minifigure. I really like these as opposed to getting the minifigures like pre-assembled. Shows you the three characters on the side. And then it doesn't advertise the set as having an exclusive minifigure, but Batman is exclusive. So I'm surprised that, you know, like Lego doesn't call that out because it's a pretty big deal. He has some very nice legs. The instructions are just polybag style pamphlet and you do not have any kind of ads or anything. So overall, this is a fantastic accessory set. You actually get a lot of good stuff here for $15. Great Batman figure, nice to get the Penguin in cheap sets, even though he's very like common in cheap sets. And it's a fantastic way to get a really good version of Harley Quinn, because this isn't my favorite version of her, but I mean, it's a, it's a very good figure, especially that torso. And so to be able to get it in a $15 set is just perfection. But even beyond that, I mean, these are called accessory sets and you have so many accessories here. I'm very happy about that because it's like you you can never have too many batterings or $100 bills or dynamite. So, I mean, especially for kids, this would be really great. I definitely recommend getting it if you don't have that Harley Quinn figure. But if you do have her, this might be a skip unless you really want that version of Batman. But that's it for today. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com. I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.